Stevie Munn has many years of game angling experience in Ireland and many parts of the world. He has gained a wealth of expertise over a lifetime of fishing and offers his unique instruction on fly tying and fishing a variety of rivers, still waters and lochs. As a beginner or a more experienced angler, you may wish to take the opportunity to enjoy learning the necessary fly tying and fishing skills and correct casting techniques from a qualified coach, avoiding the many common casting faults and frustrations experienced by so many fly fishers. Our aim is that you enjoy your time spent with us and use it as a platform to enhance your enjoyment of this wonderful sport. Still water flies have their own characteristic appearance, both in colour and outline. Many still water patterns from around the world have been given Irish characteristics by using modern materials. That makes them really successful on all still waters. In this programme, Stevie Munn is going to tie some of his personal favourites. I'm going to tie a flexi floss bloodworm. Um, bloodworm is a very, very big part of the trout's diet in still waters. Um, this fly is tied on a, a curved hook. Um, I'm just going to start it by bringing the thread behind the, the hook shank. I'm just going to start the fly by bringing the thread behind the hook shank and doing some secure wraps and then coming down the hook shank around the bend of the hook, nice touch and turns to make a good foundation for the fly, right round the bend until I've come round the bend slightly and I've cut away my thread. I'm using red damsels 60 tan thread for this fly. At this point I'm going to tie in a red marabou tail, so I'm just taking a pinch of marabou, turn it away from the stalk and just spinning it in my fingers, just makes a little plume. Teeing it up, you can just break some of the tips off the marabou with your fingers. I'm just holding it at the back of the hook here for a tail. And tying in a pinch and loop to secure the tail of the fly. Coming back down again. And stopping. And I'm going to cut this waist off. I'm going to tie in now, in among the tail, some strands of crinkle flash. This is a pearl crinkle flash. There's different brand names for it, but this is crinkle flash. Just two strands. I'm just going to tie these two strands of crinkle flash on top of the tail. And come on down the body. Fly. Just cut away the waist. For the body of this fly, I'm going to use red flexi floss. Red flexi floss stretches, so you tie it in at the back and then stretch it back with your fingers and come on down the body. and then back up. Just trying to keep the body pretty neat. All the way down. And then back up again. And then putting some tension on the flexi floss. Pull it, start it, and then loosen the tension a bit. This just makes a like segmented effect. Starting to pull a wee bit harder as it comes towards the head, giving a wee bit more tension. 
coming out of the head. Put a lot of tension on your flexi floss and tie off. And cut away the waist. I'm doing a half hitch. A couple of half hitches. And then I want to whip finish. Thread. I'm just going to give the, the whole body of the fly now a coat of varnish. And you would give it maybe two or three coats once that's dried. And just let your varnish dry and then give it another coat. And that's it, that's the Flexi Floss Bloodworm. Very, very good on still waters. Reservoirs for rainbows and brown trout.